Peace. The mass trader has returned for another update. Okay. How y'all doing? Check me out, kid. I want to show you one of my favorite Wall Street movies. The Wolf of Wall Street. This joint came out in 2013. You know that 13 is a master number, right? So anyway, this movie was by the homeboy, what's his name? Martin Scorsese directed this piece. Now, I remember reading an article about it before it came out. Prior to reading that article, I didn't know nothing about Jordan Belfort or Jordan Belfort. It's the dude that the movie is based on. It's a real, real dude. Uh, so I read the article. It, it had me mad open. I was ready to see it. I'm the type of dude that don't go to the movies anymore. I was just, just past that phase. You know what I'm saying? Of going to the movies. However, when this dropped, I went to see it about four times. Okay. So I went to see it. You know what I'm saying? Those few times. I went once with my brother, once with my son, once by myself. I was loving it. Okay. I also bought the DVD, as you can see. Okay. And I also bought the soundtrack. The soundtrack I downloaded, you know, one of my favorite songs on there doesn't even have no lyrics. It's called Cash Your Fate to the Wind. And, you know, it's like a jazz piece. And just, it's so melodious. I love it. It put me in a nice, calm state before I get ready to go up in there and do what I do in the market. You know what I'm saying? Uh, some other good songs on there is a song called Meth Z Lab Zozo Sticker. It's by a group called Seven Horse. Never heard of them before. Love that song. It's funky. You can get the party started with that. Then he got some classics on there. You got, uh, you know, Smokestack Lightning. You got Pretty Thing by Bo Diddley. You got Moving Out by Billy Joel. I was raised on Billy Joel, my, my, my old earth, my mom, she, she loved Billy Joel. So, you know, uh, I'm digging all of that, but I love the whole soundtrack. So check that out. As far as this movie goes, got a number of favorite scenes in here. I got the, uh, uh, what you call it? The revolution scene. That's when they're sitting at a restaurant and, uh, it's the protagonist's first day out of a prestigious firm and uh basically this dude who breaks down everything to him in this conversation that they have in at uh lunch i guess it was i had never heard the market broken down in that kind of way so when i heard saw that scene for the first time i just was like wow it was like a light bulb went off, like, boom, that's it. You know what I'm saying? And that that point, it all became very, very simple to me. You know what I'm saying? After listening to that or watching that scene. Uh, uh, interesting note on that is in that scene, they are the two absolute martinis. Holla. Okay. Another one is uh, this. Uh, the uh, protagonist becomes pressured uh, and he is supposed to leave the company. You know what I'm saying? That's the deal he makes with uh, the F uh, FTC, Trade Commission or whatever. So he's supposed to leave the industry and walk away from his company that he built. And when he gets up to say goodbye to his team, he just realized, like, he's not he's not leaving. You know what I'm saying? He was like, they're going to have to drag me out of here. You know what I'm saying? That's a very inspirational scene. And it talks about, you know, uh, uh, grabbing hold of your fate or your destiny, taking your destiny in your own hands and not letting nobody dictate to you what you're supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I feel that. Uh, there's a sales motivation speech scene. They're about to take... Uh, uh, Steve Madden shoes public is a IPO first time. 
uh, and he has this count, uh, this sales meeting to motivate all of the the, the uh, cold callers and everything, and that is like yo charged, you know what I'm saying? So if you you want to trade and you want to get into this game, I suggest you know after you do all your homework and research and you know get with me, you know what I'm saying? Consider liking and subscribing to this channel so you can get more information so you can prepare yourself and when you get ready to make that move i would suggest you get that movie and sit down and watch that movie now it's a lot of things that's over the top you know what i'm saying uh however i think it's meant to emphasize the excess that uh people who make large sums of money the same people that we put on the ski mask to go after you know what i'm saying uh that excess i think that's what that is supposed to go uh symbolize in that movie so check that out that's a good one uh okay uh now guess what came in the mail today the stock traders almanac for 2021 I've been waiting for this piece for about two, three months. Okay, what's really good about this is basically it breaks down to you for any particular day the the historical uh, trends or tendency of that particular market. You know what I'm saying? The um, the, the the Dow Jones, the Spy, the Nasdaq. So. If we look right here, you know what I'm saying? We're going to go to this day. Okay? You say we go to February 22nd, you see? So on February 22nd, the Dow has a 52.4% chance of closing up. The S&P has a 47.6% uh, chance of closing up. And the NASDAQ has a 52.4% chance of closing up now with these things uh it's all probabilities it's all math you know what i'm saying so when you get ready to do your thing or put it this way when i get ready to do my thing i consider this in preparing myself for the coming week you know what i'm saying i'm like yo what's the probability oh we have a 52 percent 52 percent chance of closing up all right i'll go bullish you know what i'm saying uh, it also has real nice quotes. I'm going to give you one. And it says, it is, it is tact that is golden, not silence. Speak up. You understand? That's what I'm doing with these videos is I'm speaking up on my life as a trader and sharing that information with you so that you can get your mask, brother. Sister, get your mask. Get down with the game. Get you some money. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I've been using the Stock Traders Almanac for, whew, I would say maybe about five years or so. Maybe even more. Uh, I buy it faithfully. You know what I mean? And we're talking about, it's, it usually run about, you know, uh, Half a dollar, uh, 50 cent, you know what I'm saying? 50 fifty dollars, you know what I'm saying? But it is worth it uh, because, like I said, this is a probabilities game, you know what I'm saying? So what they do with, uh, uh, with the Stock Traders Almanac is just tell you from the whole history of the market, this is what the probabilities are. This is the, 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 most bull the, the, the six most bullish months, the six most bearish months. You know what I'm saying? What happens during uh, presidential cycles, uh, you know, uh, holidays, all these different type of things. You know what I'm saying? And uh, it'll be beneficial for you. You know, uh, give me some time. You know what I'm saying? You know that the brother's just launching the channel. You know what I mean? But give me some time and we're going to include all of the links to everything, videos, movies, whatever, down in the bottom so that you could uh, get with me. You know what I'm saying? So you can... You can prepare yourself. You know what I mean? Lastly, I want to share with y'all this. It's a moleskin. This is my journal. Okay? Every week, I journal my trades. Why is the journal important? Because if you create the proper journal 
and you put the reasoning behind why you're taking certain trades, uh, you know, what your setup was, things of that nature, you can go back and review that and you could use that information just the same way that I showed you the Stop Traders Almanac. These two work hand in hand. So you got the history of the market and you got the history of your performance. And you use all of that to step your game up. You know what I'm saying? It's all about being prepared. It's all about doing what you got to do uh, so you could master this. Again, it's a probabilities game. It's all numbers. It's all math. Okay? Uh, you know, uh, that's pretty much it. You know what I'm saying? Consider subscribing to the channel. Like the video. Leave me a comment. Leave me a question. You know what I mean? Uh... Again, the mass is being worn to represent the people in the street that are coming up and learning how to master this game. You know, uh, I also want to give a shout out to uh, a fallen soldier, MF Doom. MF Doom was the mass villain. You know, if you follow hip hop, you know, he returned to the essence on uh, October 31st. We found out on uh, December 31st. And... MF Doom has helped me with my trading. You might say, that don't even make no sense. How How is an MC going to help you with trading? And the reason why this MC helped me with trading is because I used some of his music to get amped. He got a song on the uh, vaude Vaudeville Villain album called The Drop. So he said, respect the drop. So I use that when the market goes down. Respect that drop, you know what I'm saying? Respect your stop loss, get out, you know what I mean? Uh, another song he got is called Make a Buck. It's him and Count Base D. That's what we in this game for, baby, to make a buck, you know what I mean? Uh, he got another one called Get Her Done with Jake One. And that song, like, it inspired me to be like, you know, as the market is about to open, is about to start, it's like, hey, get her done. Let's get these trades in, let's make this money. Okay, so uh, shout out to MF Doom. Go check him out. Uh, you know, get at me, man, so we can get this thing together and we could uh, make this money together as a team. Absolute Boss Collective. And we're going to say peace, profit people. Let me tell you, I call y'all profit people because Biz Markie, he had a song and he sent on that song. Peace, party people. Ha ha. See you later. So a lot of times, you know, like when I was. Getting ready to start shooting videos, I would say party people. But I'm going to call y'all the profit people. So we're going to say peace out to the profit people because either you making a profit or you're going to learn to make a profit as long as you keep following this channel. You know what I'm saying? And checking out these videos. Hit that notification bell so you can know when I drop something new. Send me a question. Send me a comment. Send me an email. Let's make this happen together. Peace, profit people. Mass Trader. Out.